Whether you've heard of Demi Moore for the first time in a Friends episode or through the number of projects that she has done so far, we are sure that you are just as starstruck as us. So today, let's do a deep dive into her many roles and discuss which one is your favorite. But for now, let's focus on the part that she played in General Hospital. Let's find out what the actress has to say together. To begin with, how did Demi Moore really feel about her role in General Hospital? Rumor has it that Demi Moore was less than thrilled with her brief appearance in General Hospital. The stunning woman has worked as an actress for over four decades now, and throughout her leading career, she has played a variety of memorable roles, as well as some that were less memorable. Her lesser-known roles include those in films such as Parasite, Corporate Animals, and Striptease. What's more, she even received a Golden Raspberry Award nomination for Worst Actress for the latter, and many fans believe her career never fully recovered. Moore, on the other hand, has received critical acclaim for her roles in films such as St. Elmo's Fire, A Few Good Men, and Indecent Proposal. The actress has spent the majority of her career on the big screen, with few TV credits to her name. Her most recent television appearances were in HBO's Animals and Empire on Fox, where she appeared in five and seven episodes respectively. She also appeared in six episodes of the Dirty Diana podcast series. Coming up, what role did Demi Moore play in General Hospital? Now, we all know that General Hospital is one of the longest running television shows in history, having debuted in April of 1963 and is still airing today. At that time, the soap opera aired 15,000 episodes, making it the longest running show in the genre. Demi Moore portrayed the character Jackie Templeton on the show. She was the first actress to play the part. Jackie is described as a tough, no-nonsense New York City investigative reporter. Moore first appeared in those shoes in a GH episode that aired on January 4, 1982, and she stayed in the role until April of 1985. Jackie did not appear in the series again for another three and a half decades. However, in October of 2020, NYPD Blue star Kim Delaney took over the role and has since portrayed the character for 45 episodes. Here's when things take a a slight turn. Did you know that Demi Moore knew nothing about what she was doing at the General Hospital? Yep, you heard us right. Coming up, here's what we know about that. Demi Moore had no intention of becoming an actress. She only started down this path because of the influence of one of her neighbors when she was growing up in West Hollywood. Apparently, she met a young actress who she thought was the most amazing creature that she'd ever met. Her name was Natasha Kinski. Moore added that the woman was so self-assured and so at ease in her own skin that she decided she wanted to have that as well. And after all, what did she have to lose? And that that's how her legendary acting career began. But, and this may come as a surprise to you all, Demi thinks that she is not good enough. Let's break that down together. Demi Moore joined the famous Brat Pack, a group of young actors who collaborated on various movie projects in the 1980s, after her time at General Hospital. She appeared in Jerry Zucker's romantic fantasy film Ghost, alongside Patrick Swayze, Whoopi Goldberg, Tony Goldwyn, and other stars in 1990. The film had a budget of around $22 million, but it grossed $505 million at the box office. As a result, Ghost became the year's best performing film in terms of the box office. Moore's performance was also nominated for a Golden Globe Award. Despite this and many other successes, the actress admitted to the interview that she still feels insecure. She explained that if we knew the real Demi, we'd know that she's afraid she's not good enough. But we think you're amazing, Demi. Now let's refresh your memory with some Demi Moore facts. Exhibit A. Did you know Demi Moore was once the highest paid actress in all of Hollywood? That's right. She's had long hair, short hair, and been bald too. But each hairdo proved one thing. The Roswell, New Mexico native has a pretty face, and at 58, she's as stunning as ever. The corporate animal star left home at the age of 16 and rose to the top. The star of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People in the World also understands what it's like to hit rock bottom. According to her, taking one day at a time is the best way to deal with life. You can plan for the future, but only in terms of what you can do right now, because that is all you've got. The star was paid $12.5 million for her role as a mother who takes her clothes off at a gentleman's club, making her the highest paid actress in history. History. At the time, the trailer parked to Hollywood powerhouse, who was considered merely commercial rather than good, was married to Bruce Willis, who made $20 million per film. And to give you some perspective on her ladder of success, she began her career as a model. In 1981, the Empire guest star signed with the prestigious Elite Model Management and relocated to New York City. She was signed by an agent in Los Angeles in 1982 and began taking acting classes. Elite models such as Patty Henson, Carol Alt, Stephanie Seymour, Linda Evangelista, and Cindy Crawford, to name a few, were in attendance. But after 40 years in the spotlight, the actress is certain of one thing. Time is a wonderful equalizer. Things will come around if you stay true to yourself and keep moving forward. Can't argue with that now, can we? Also, did you know before Bruce and Ashton, she had a husband? From the age of 18 to the age of 23, the ghost star was married to rock musician Freddie Moore, and he still goes by that name professionally. We suppose it has a better ring to it than her birth name, Demi Jean Gynes. Before the divorce papers were even signed, the green-eyed beauty began a two-year engagement with Charlie 
Charlie Sheen's brother, Emilio Estevez. And while we're on the topic of her past, we thought it would be interesting to tell you that she was once a patient at General Hospital. The tenacious investigative reporter, Jackie Templeton, appeared in Port Charles and rekindled interest in ABC's long-running daytime drama. The brunette didn't sound or look like most soap opera actresses, and her storyline became popular. She was clearly destined for greater things, such as movie screens. Next up, Demi belongs to the Brat Pack. They were young, famous, and yes, a little braggart. They made movies and partied together, thanks to John Hughes and Joel Schumacher. Although it was mostly made up of guys like Rob Lowe, Judd Nelson, Anthony Michael Hall, Andrew McCarthy, and Emilio Estevez, the St. Elmo's Fire glam chick was one of its queens, along with Molly Ringwald and Ali Sheedy. And speaking of St. Elmo's Fire, the now mother of three nearly got fired from St. Elmo's Fire in 1985 for showing up high. That was how bad she struggled with addiction. There had been sober years, but personal and professional setbacks could have triggered a return to alcohol and drug abuse, such as Vicodin. We are sending virtual hugs to anyone going through something similar. Now, onto some lighter things. Can you guess what her nickname was? It was none other than Gimme More. The more money our beloved actress made, the more the media portrayed her as a greedy super diva, all because she wouldn't be pushed around and knew how to get her way. Sadly, this is a business of ups and downs. People build you up just for the joy of tearing you down. And more agrees with us. And that's not all our talented actress can do, for she's also a singer and a songwriter. During her first marriage to Freddie, she and he co-wrote three songs, It's Not a Rumor, Changing, and Heat, for which she still receives royalties. In One Crazy Summer, she sang herself, but in No Small Affair and Hunchback, her voice was dubbed with that of a professional singer. But Moore had to go through many obstacles to get where she is now. She had quite a difficult upbringing. She was as distant from her own mother as she is now from her own children. As a child, the G.I. Jane actress was frequently enlisted by her father to assist in preventing her mother from completing various suicide attempts. After her parents divorced, the future star discovered that the man who raised her was not her biological father. Now, keeping her entire life in mind, her memoir was bound to be a success. She bared it all, figuratively of course. When describing her life and loves, the Disclosure star dropped bombshell after bombshell from her chaotic childhood to her rise and fall in the arms of some of Hollywood's most powerful men. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments below what you think of Demi Moore and her legendary work. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.